So if your XP pen here has no signal, what do you need to do? Well, there are a few things that you may want to try to solve this issue. So first things first, uh, first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure every cable is plugged in firmly. So most no signal issues come from a loose HDMI or USB-C cable. Check both ends, the one on your laptop or PC and the one on the tablet. Push them in firmly well, until they click or feel secure. Also, you may want to confirm the tablet is on the correct input source. So some XP Pen display models have a multiple uh, multiple input modes. So use the side buttons or menu button here to make sure it's set it is actually set to the HDMI display port or USB C, depending on your setup. Now if it's on the wrong source, the tablet won't show anything. And also you may want to check the power connection. So the tablet may not be turning on if your XP Pen uses an external power cable. So on or the three in one cable so make sure the power uh, adapter is plugged in and a lot of models here shows a signal a uh, signal unless they're fully powered so look for a small light on the tablet now if it's off it needs power next is you want to try a different hdmi port or usb port here on your computer now if the port you're using might be dead or glitching, move the HDMI to another port or try a different USB 3.0 port. Blue ones or aren't going to be the best one. Now if the screen flickers or briefly lights up, you've found the problem. Now also you want to make sure your computer recognizes the tablet. So you want to open up device manager here for Windows or system information for Mac. Check if anything XP pen related appears. Now if nothing shows up, the tablet is not being detected so usually a cable or driver issue is the cause of this issue also speaking or talking about like drivers here you may want to update or reinstall the xp pen driver so a corrupt driver can cause no signal even if the cables are fine so you want to go to the xp pen website download your exact model's driver uninstall the old driver then restart it and install the new one now once the driver is fresh the tablet often comes back to life instantly now, next is you want to go ahead and basically test with a different cable or device. Now, if you have another USB-C or HDMI cable, swap it in. Cable feels more often than people think. So, it, if possible, connect the tablet to a different laptop or PC. If it works there, the issue is with your original computer's ports or settings. And that's about it. So, hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.